Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. It seems that some sleeping giant has been awakened. After their recent model, DeepSeek has just released Janus Pro 7 billion. We have already covered Janus family of models on the channel in the last few months and they were always really amazing when it comes to multimodality. In this video, we are going to install this newly released Janus Pro 7 billion on our local system and then we will see how it works. Before I show you the installation, let's have a quick look at what exactly this model is. So in very simple words, Janus Pro 7 billion is an auto regressive framework that unifies multimodal understanding and generation. What it means is that when we say autoregressive, it means that this model predicts the next value in a sequence based on past values. And that is how it generates coherent and context dependent outputs. With this model, because it's multimodal, you can not only generate images from text, but you can also do vision tasks where you give it an image and you can talk with your image. Another interesting bit about this model is that it uses something called as SIGLIP. When we say SIGLIP, SIGLIP is a type of a model that combines language and image understanding through pre-training on larger data sets, especially um, WebLI and there are few other models which are quite famous there. And the special thing about these models is that they use SIGMOID loss function. For the mere models like us, in simple words, sigmoid loss function simply means that whenever a model is getting training, this calculates the loss which measures the difference between predictive values and true binary labels on the data set. And normally it is used in binary classification, especially for image classification. So that is the introduction of this a model which looks really cool so now let's try to get it installed and then we will see how it works before i do that let me give a huge shout out to our good friends at mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on a very affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on range of gpus this is my GP, uh, ubuntu system where i'm going to run this and this is my gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gpu of vram courtesy masked compute let's create a virtual environment with conda and then we will proceed further and now let's git clone the repo of janus and i will drop the link to it in video's description too and now install all the prerequisites from the root of the repo in editable format and this is going to take a couple of minutes so let's wait and Janus has successfully been built. Let's also install Gridio because we will be using it in the Gridio demo. And Gridio is done too. That is all the installation we needed to do. Now in order to run the Gridio demo from the root of the repo, all you need to do is to run this command and it is going to start the Gridio demo at your localhost at port 7860. And the first time when you will run it, it is going to download these two, um, uh, download the model, which is not that huge given the things which this model is doing. So let's wait for it to get downloaded here. And while this is getting downloaded, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenBot. iGenBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, so I will still wait for this to get downloaded. So the model size is close to 15 gig. Make sure that you have that much space on your system. And there you go. So everything is downloaded and you can see here that it is running on our local host at port 7860. So let me access it there and this is how it looks like in the browser once you run it in the localhost and if I scroll down um, as I mentioned earlier not only you can do more multimodal understanding example that 
where you do the vision task, you give it an image and ask questions. This is also called a sort of EQA. And then this is where you do the text to image generation. You can also uh, do some classification guidance and then some seed and these are the text prompts which you can use from their examples or you could use your own example. So let me first uh, try to do some vision task. I will upload my own images and we will see how it works. So I have just uploaded this image from my system and this is you, where you can ask a question like explain this image and then we can just simply click on chat or press enter and it is generating the response while it does that let's quickly also check the vram consumption in real time so it is consuming over 15 gig of vram as it does the inference with the image nice okay so i'm just going to minimize it and if i scroll down it has already given us the response and if you go through the response it's really very good quality and concise that the image is painting depicting a serene sunset scene what appears to be a savanna or grass grassland overall mood and everything looks perfectly fine but this one is really cool look at this silhouette of a large tree on the left three kangaroos one of which is joey uh, in its mother pouch it's not in mother pouch so it is outside of the mother pouch joey uh, we call it it's a kangaroo baby but you see that joey is outside of mother's pouch so i think that is a mistake i would say okay no problem let's try to see how it does the ocr so i'm just going to select an ocr image from my <clears throat> my local system i'll just say extract the text from this image let's check it out the speed is quite good i would say really good there you go so if i compare it's quite good i would say the ocr looks really good yeah ocr is perfect uh not perfect i would say uh, there are a few mistakes still for example if you look this last word and this last word there are mistakes but overall for a 7 billion model not bad i would say but could improve definitely okay so ocr is average i would say let's try out maybe we will see if it can do some multilingual ocr let's do maybe uh, i don't think so it's multilingual but let's try it out let's try the arabic one this is just an arabic uh, newspaper uh, I'm not sure. I don't think so. What do you think? So, yeah, no, I don't think so. Did the right one. Okay, what about Chinese OCR? And let's do the Chinese. I'll just wait for it. And if you're a Chinese speaker, please also advise us. What do you think? It is taking a bit of a time when it comes to Chinese. Nope, it is hallucinating, not doing Chinese. So it is all only English, it seems. <clears throat> and even in English, when I don't think so, it really meets the um, blade there anyway. So let's try out another one. I'm just going to give it this location. And I'll say maybe which city and monument is this? So this is Jakarta, Indonesia, the Monas monument. So let's see if it is. Wow, wow, this is cool. It has perfectly found it. Monas located in Jakarta and tall obelisk. Very nice. This is impressive. Very impressive. Not many models were able to do that. So this is good. And then <clears throat> we can ask it a few more questions if you like. I'll just say. what is the time on clock and let's chat here by the way if you want you can increase or decrease these uh, values of hyperparameter but default is fine and you can see that it has identified the time very very correctly so not bad really impressive stuff now for the prompt you can 
do the detailed prompting here for example maybe let's go with uh, this one so i just selected this the face of a beautiful girl and then some seat let me click on generate images and it has generated the images here and it's not really bad at all and the quality of the image is quite good look at the eyes they are quite detailed both of the examples so i would say this is really good really really good stuff if i click on it okay now so you have to click on it to see the full image this is the first second third real good stuff real good stuff okay let's try out one of our own and i will make it detailed so i'm asking you to create an image of a grand abundant mansion in english countryside while and then some other stuff let, while it runs it let's have a quick look at vram consumption so you see it has jumped to over 24 gig of vram when it comes to generation okay so 24 gb of vram should be good enough let's see what it generates wow look at the english countryside mansion very nice look i think image generation is quite good not bad at all that is quite good okay let's try out another one and i'm going to paste my prompt and in the next one i'm asking it to generate an image of a vibrant street market in kenya filled with colorful stalls selling traditional kenyan snacks clothing and souvenirs what do you think okay so it's not a photorealistic one so maybe i would need to change my prompt to photorealistic or real world okay image so because i said that image or maybe i'll just now say uh photo realistic real world representation image maybe i'll just move the you know image here let's try again let's wait for it and again it has generated the image which is not bad at all <clears throat> i would say but i think it's not uh, photorealistic in real world anyway no problem let's try out another one maybe i need to play with my prompts a bit more so in the next one i'm asking it generate an image of a futuristic underwater research facility filled with scientists and engineers working on an advanced marine technology the facility is surrounded by a coral reef with schools of fish swimming outside the large domed window should be fun almost there yeah that's nice that's very nice yep there are engineers underwater facility it follows the instruction to the hilt which is very interesting there is a coral there is a fish very nice so look very impressive again for a 7 billion model Janus Pro is really good apart from OCR I think rest of it was quite good what do you think let me know in the comments and as I said if you are interested in previous versions of Janus please check out my um, channel I have done heaps of videos on it by the way if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching